On July 7, 1990, the streets of Nairobi was a beehive of activities, with several Kenyans taking to the streets demanding change from a one-party state. However, many paid the price for their actions after being battered and bruised by local enforcements. The riots reportedly lasted for four days and left more than 20 people dead, many others injured and more than 1,000 in jail. More than 6,000 people reportedly turned up and riots subsequently broke out as police officers dispersed the protesters forcefully using batons and tear gas. The rally culminated into the famous Saba Saba Day, leading to Kenyan struggle for the second liberation. A group of politicians fondly referred to as the Young Turks led Kenyans in a big demonstration in the streets of Nairobi. The government took note, replaced Section 2A of the Constitution and allowed multi-party politics. In 1992, Kenyans participated in the first multi-party elections. I am glad to inform Kenyans that I have today ascended to the bill as a sign of my commitment to political reform. When the elections are called, I urge all contestants to ensure that they conduct their campaign in a mature and peaceful manner. Last year, more than 50 activists were arrested as they marched in Nairobi to mark Saba Saba Day. Activists staged demonstrations to champion key issues, with this year's dedicated to policy brutality following killings of innocent civilians since March as police enforced the night curfew declared by President Uhuru Kenyatta as part of the measures to contain the rise of the coronavirus cases. Abdiziz Ashim, Ibru TV.